Welcome back to episode 75 of Cyberpunk 2077, boys and girls. In the last episode of the very end, we made our decision on what we're going to be doing going into the end game. We've decided we're going to go with the Pan Am option. They're going to help us try to break into Arasaka Tower. That's where we're picking up because that's right where we left off. So we're going to actually go talk to Pan Am, right meow, let's hop into Night City and pick it up, boys. Let's see if it actually also lets me off this rooftop because the last time I tried to leave, it just uh, gave me the option to go back to the roof in the elevator. Awesome, we can leave this time. I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can in the end game, in the final quest, in this recording session, but I might run out of time because I'm sure the end game is very long. I mean, it's the end game, it's the grand finale, I'm sure the final mission's kind of long. Uh, we're gonna try to finish as much as we can because I kind of have the other stuff I have to do, you know? Since I'm a one-man content team, I have to edit, so <laughs> I don't have the luxury of just playing and then not worrying about everything else. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Holy shit, there's a cat! Come inside. We'll wait together. Who's this? Who do we have here, huh? Have you been in the game the entire time? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Has he been in the game the entire time? What's up, guys? You guys are also behind the clinic like Mr. Brightman. I mean, okay. Why does my FOV seem weird? Is this just a cinematic choice that I can't, like, opt out of? Since you have to wait... Mind if I give you a reading? You did this like one episode ago, but whatever. Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. <clears throat> I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Johnny's not here Your at the moment. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay. Am I supposed to say something? Oh. Okay, I'm ready. I was just awkwardly not close enough. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Hell yeah. Sounds like Johnny. A card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. Oh, spoilers, Misty. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh huh. V. Have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Does Misty not know okay. about Pan Am? And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. can't look behind me. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Hi, Pan Am. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. 
Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Does Misty not know about Pan Am? Are they just not going to even interact? <laughs> like, this is... Alright, we're just going to fast travel there. She came all the way to the city to get me just to take me all the way back out to the camp? <coughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Nah, Mitch, I'm fucking dying. Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. That was the quietest so, v, door close I've I heard ever talk heard. That there's a war coming. <clears throat> Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, the what our aim is. Down. Look around, V. War-tested veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Clan? Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Yeah, let's not make him worried. Needed some sleep is all. Heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Uh, I mean, that sounds silly, but you know, go on. Sure, these plans are up to date. Completely reliable. Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. I mean, by going in guns blazing. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. The plan, entire op, it's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. There so it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. That sounds Maybe like sex tank. tank. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. I don't know what that means. That, How that's much longer? entirely true. 
I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, V? You're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? <sighs> Alt. Alt, yeah. She's... It's... An AI from uh, Pass of Blackwall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. <laughs> nah, I already fucked Pan Am, dude. I'm good. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Talk to Dakota, talk to Mitch. You know, these guys have good intentions, like I said, because I did everything for these guys. Literally everything. Their affiliation or, uh, um, the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Affliction? I'm, it's 2 a.m. recording this. I'm having a really hard time thinking of words. Uh, these guys just like me a lot, so they're willing to do dumb shit to help me at this point. Because don't get me wrong, tunneling under Arasaka Tower and fighting Militech, that qualifies as certified hood dumb shit. But, uh, their hearts are in the right place, and I did everything, so that's good. Prep coming along all right? Hey, you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. Can it, Bobby? Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Hell yeah. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow... You'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. Yep, that was the As problem last episode. It, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Fair enough. Um, okay, there's no, like yellow option that just ends the dialogue so you think you know all you need to if not fire away talk later then i guess hell yeah brother let's get back to the matter at hand shall we all right dakota is over there dakota hello you know what before we talk to dakota i've always been curious Another time, then. Firewater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. You guys have all these... tech things. Where do these wires go? How do you power this? We're figuring out lore in real time. So it goes into this truck. Where does this truck go? So, like, this is, like, the antennas and stuff. Alright, you're a ripper, Doc. I'm not interested in talking to you. So, like... Obviously, you have this giant statue. I'm not curious about how you guys have, like, internet and stuff. I'm curious about, like, the power situation. Where, where's the, where's the power cell? Where's the nuclear reactor? How are you doing this? 
Uh-huh, solar panels are up there. I see that. Where did the wires go from there, though? If there even are wires, probably no one ever thought about what I'm thinking about right now. What is this? This would be a bathroom. My bad, bro. My bad. I just doctor disrespected you. So based off of, like, the little I know about how power works, those are the solar panels. You're in a desert. You're basically just trying to Helios 1 this. I'm assuming this is your substation, but it's locked, so I can't confirm or deny that. So we're up here... More solar panels. That one's broken. You might want to rethink that one. There's more stuff up there. Can I get up there? I'm wasting time. I'm sorry for those of you that don't care about this, but I've always been remotely curious about, like, how they actually have stuff that works. I also don't feel like this would be enough solar panels to power everything they have going on here. I'm not an expert. If there's anybody that's, like, relatively an expert on solar panels and energy, I would love to hear your thonks. I mean, at least there is an answer as to how things work. There's solar panels, and like I said, I'm guessing that is their substation. The only thing that I'm curious about, beyond what I've already said, is that, like, obviously they live in tents and stuff. Like, this shit's mobile. They can pick it up and pack it up and go wherever. So the question I guess I have is, like, if they build their camps, do they have to build them near stuff that they can steal? Like, this power supply? Because, like, what happens if they have to move again? Like, the people that are, like, trying to hurt them... I just got points for jumping. Kids throwing rocks and shit. Can I talk to you guys? Throwing rocks at cars. Fantastic. But, like, if I'm, like, I don't know, Militech, for example, if I want to take out the all the Caldos, all I have to do is, like, put up traps around these things. Whatever. I'm probably thinking way too much into it. I was just curious, but let's talk to Dakota. Anyway, as I was saying... Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. Not really. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. Fair enough. You can go in. However, my game is having a bad time right now. I wish it would stop having a bad time. Um, here's the thing. I'm going really deep into stuff Wait. that... You want to say something? I'm talking to my friends, Dakota. Like, this is an ice bath. Literally, whenever I started this episode, V was unconscious... <laughs> We will finish later. Dakota, it's not about you. Whenever I started this episode, V passed out on the way here in Pan Am's vehicle. So, knowing what I know about the human body, because, like, I haven't cyberneticated out of V that much. He's not, like, profit from fucking Call of Duty Black Ops, where, like, with these upgrades, you never stood a chance. He's not, like, 90% robot. V is still very much human. V's also very much almost dead. Would getting into this ice bath... It, it couldn't be good, right? Hypothermia can't be good at this point in V's life. Where did we leave off? Me getting into an ice bath? I guess not. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. I mean, Hello. I... Here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? Especially then, because, like, I'm all right, time basically all time flatlining. Follow the vectors, brother. <clears throat> Follow the vectors, brother. Smooth shifting. Driving at 90. What's up, Alt? Hello, Alt. You come alone. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. 
The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factors rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. That's how dying you exist works. Or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? Mean you're gonna absorb them? Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. <clears throat> That's like some Halo Gravemind shit. Is that what we want? <laughs> Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Not really. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner Shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? No. Let's apologize to Dakota. We warned her. She knew what she was getting into. Sorry about the damage. <sighs> yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Peachy. Well, I really good. Real good. Uh, no. The shard. I have Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Yeah, my bad. Told you guys I was getting into some serious shit, but you insisted. Oh, there. Left your laptop on the ground. That's not a good place for that. It's gonna get dirty. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? To war. All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. 
It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. <laughs> which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Fantastic. Ready, kid? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it. No blood sacks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Welcome to the class! Jacket's incredible. See? He likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Makoshi, we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, yeah. though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. Whoops. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This calls for our drink, this is still I say. your night. We'll some basketball in the newfound glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? No, you yeah. literally sent me to the ground. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Me about the pass and out again. a jacket. Not too tight. Snug as a glove. Well or not? Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Aldecaldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Talk to Pan Am, talk to Mitch. Mitch? Mitch is the one we saved, right? He's the, uh... Give me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. You, uh, so maybe I'll take two more 45s. me. CNS Dakota seems to be feeling I once found a today. dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. That was the most head-ass answer I think I've ever gotten. I was asking if you were mad about me frying your PC and hey, then you... I'm waiting. You're not. The conversation ended. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. You know what? Fair enough. I'm gonna be honest. Everything here is probably worse than, uh... what I already have. Uh, those are just EMP grenades I do not want. Listen to this. Alright, let's go talk to Mitch, and then this is probably gonna be the end of the episode. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Oh yeah, we're testing the tank. Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. Last time I was in this tank, I had sex with, like, Pan Am. It's my most popular video on Cyberpunk <laughs> on my other channel. It's my most viewed Cyberpunk video, is having sex in a tank. All right, fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Seems like she's tending to the left. Fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the timing on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems 
so. Uh, EMP, I guess. Don't sound right to my ear. No aim assist needed. Back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. You know what? I'm glad this ended differently than the other time. I would have really liked to not have sex with Mitch in this tank. Oh. Why am I on fire? Oh, because I touched that. Yeah, that do be how fire works. Maybe we turn the tank off, Mitch. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Uh, why the hell not? Gotta be warm as shit. We're in a desert, bro. Pretty sure you also gave me a fucking Back during warning, the Google. War, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? Breathing. They gave us chem cocktails. Nope. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing. And boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day, we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. Go on. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shakeup. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? I mean, I can't really speak on Soul. I don't really know a lot about him. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? I don't know what this response means, and this is like the mad response that doesn't really give a take either way. We'll just talk about Pan Am since we know her better. I well, guess I was hoping Pan Am would mature. Mature into whom? Come on. Pretty much obvious Pan Am ought to lead the clan. Proved it amply. The only thing she proved is that she cares. But don't confuse that with wanting power. I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. All right, I won't look at you then. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Uh, 
I'm just confused as to why this matters. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? I mean, like, maybe I'm just not thinking in the context of, like, how this was written, because, like, I know V just got accepted into a member of the Aldecaldos. I, as me, don't really think about the Aldecaldos the way they think about the Aldecaldos. The way these guys live, this is them. You're awfully quiet. Is something up? I'm talking to my friends. Why do you guys keep insisting? But, like, obviously Saul, Pan Am, and the Aldecaldos, they are the Aldecaldos. That's all that matters to them, really. They're here for themselves because they're the only people looking out for them. Me... I have uh, my hands in other pots, even though I just got accepted or brought into the family, so I guess I'm having a hard time wrapping my noggin around, like, the internal conflict because I haven't really been a part of the conflict. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. It'll what about? folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. For what? What's he Saul's buying time for? Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Yeah, have fun, bro. Happy hunting, Mitch. Like, I'm just curious as like, what do they mean by buy Saul time? Like, buy Saul more time as being the leader? Like, is the Pan Am becoming the leader thing that inevitable? Why do I still have the icon to talk to you? Okay, it's... it's gone now. Like, that's just... I don't know, it's weird. Like, not super weird, but like, you guys are cute. Um, I guess just Saul being not the leader anymore is inevitable as far as these guys are concerned. I really don't like that we're about to break into, like, one of the biggest corporations on planet Earth tomorrow, and you guys are <laughs> getting shit-faced, but you guys do you. Who am I supposed to talk to? Oh. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Mm -hmm. I feel I need to make one thing clear. Mm -hmm. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Honestly, fucking no. That's the entire thing I've been trying to figure out. I don't know what's going on, because... It just doesn't make now. a lot of sense. Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between Isn't us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Yeah. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but, oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon, you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Dodge the question. Fair enough. Yeah, like that, like... I don't, I don't get, I don't get the plot here. I'm, maybe I'm just stupid. I just don't understand. <laughs> no, no. C major, that... How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. What are you playing? No, this number? Nope, because I have music turned off, bro. I can't hear what you're playing. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. Night City, Cybertechnica, take me home, Night City Roads. Are you still going? Bro, I can't hear what you're playing. You believe this fucking guy? Also, bro, you have an electric guitar. What the fuck is that plugged into? 
Holy shit, it's Ulysses from Fallout New Vegas, DLC Lonesome Road. Who are you that does not know his history? Courier 6. You can go home. Holy shit, I can't believe they got you on payroll. Bro, you're still going? Bro, the cosplay convention's tomorrow, Deadpool, holy shit. Who else, who else do I talk to? You guys are meditating, I respect it. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. I'm glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. No problem, Bruce. I don't know who you are. I don't remember you, man. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates, but good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. Thanks. Rather keep a clear head, though. I can't say I get it, but I respect it. Next time. Now that's what we should drink to. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? <laughs> I don't even know what the problem is. I understand they, like, don't get along and they see leadership things differently, but, like, everybody in this camp just, <laughs> they're speaking in fucking riddles. I don't understand the actual issue. <laughs> Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom it's happens. really that bad between them. The truth is we need cash. And fast. Okay, if that's the problem, Amen. just say that it's shit. Because she's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. And I understand if that. of the family is still left standing tomorrow. I mean, that's a lie. But, like, this is really dismissive. It's not going to put everybody in a good headspace. I'm, I'm worried about that wall. How the hell are we going to get over it? I, just, gonna start I need to pause so I can have thoughts. I just don't understand what the actual problem is. Because, like, Saul isn't necessarily a bad leader, from what I can tell. He's just kind of very stubborn and doesn't like to be told when he's doing stuff the wrong way. And Pan Am likes to tell him when he's doing stuff the wrong way. We talked about that a long time ago in an episode on a different channel. It's just, I don't understand, like, the actual problem. They came together for this mission. Their ulterior motive is they want to get tech, they want to sell it, they want to get money. I don't care about that. That would be dumb for them not to do. If you're going to raid the most technological advanced thing in Night City, you're going to leave with loot. That's just the way of the road. You're going to sell that loot to whoever the highest bidder is, and then it's going to put the Aldecaldos in a better place at the end of the day. I don't think Pan Am is opposed to that idea. Honestly, Pan Am probably wants that idea to go through as well, because there's no downside to it. You guys are already helping me do the most dangerous task you guys have ever or tried. Dude, maybe I'm just an absolute idiot and I missed something in a context clue or I'm misremembering something for an earlier mission. I just don't understand the problem. Worrying about that after tomorrow. Had it up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We're still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't give fuck tomorrow. Pardon my French. Nah, no, you're good, bro. Can promise you one thing. Easy I just on the hit promises, the wrong but you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says if. Hey now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. I just, like I said, this might be just one of those things where they're hyping up how bad things are for the plot, and it doesn't actually come across that way in-game, because I genuinely just don't really see the problem. Who else do I have to talk to? Who else is there? 
It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Like, how many more people do I have to talk to? Revolver, empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. I mean, fair enough. It's killing me. The trick me. is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Oh, oh brother, Let's I, find have, out. I have aim assist. Anything confident? is possible with well, aim assist. I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. What line? That one? That a line? Oh, that line. Yeah, that definitely do be a line. Begin. With what? All right. Nope, I suck. Apparently my pistol doesn't even shoot straight. Stop! Piss poor. This doesn't bode well for tomorrow, kid. Oh, brother, I'm break gonna... Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Do I not get to go again? I mean, respectfully, dude, the gun didn't shoot the fucking bottle. I would love to try again, but apparently it's not one of those types of quests. Alright, fair enough, man. Like, who else do I have to talk to? They're, like, you guys? Can I sit with you guys? Brother, your neck is bending the wrong way. I just don't understand who I haven't talked to. I mean, it's an optional objective. It doesn't matter, but I just don't know who I'm missing. Who the fuck am I supposed to talk to? I'm just going to call it here. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. We'll pick up next episode talking to Pan Am and kicking off the rest of this quest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in whatever the next episode may be. Hope you guys have a great day after this video ends. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new, boys and girls. A pizza.